how can I get closer to the Lord Jesus? Yeah. Anyone and everyone who has the love of the Lord in their heart, they long and thirst for the Lord Jesus. It's a natural reaction. But you see, we need to be a little bit careful here because when I say, how can I get closer to the Lord? You see, with that maybe noticing, I'm saying, I want to get closer. I want to love you. I want to do things for you. It's all about me now. The Lord says, without me, you cannot do anything. John 15, 5. Without me, I, Jesus Christ, you cannot do anything. So when you come and say, I, you want to get close to me, I'll say, you cannot do anything without me. So how can I get closer to you, Lord? All you need to do is just love me like a little child loving the parents. Can you love me like that? In fact, today, we were, gonna, we were going to talk about the way of the kingdom, which is being like a little child. I was preparing for it, and then I don't know what happened. It wasn't meant to be. Maybe another time. Every time, every time you come to the Lord, come as a little baby. That's why I desire to carry him as a little baby. <laughs> oh, did I cross any theological boundaries? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Every time you come to the Lord Jesus, you must come as a little baby, a little child. You know why? Because if I go to the Lord and I say, Lord, I preached for you and I made sure that the whole world heard your voice and heard your name. The Lord will say, I don't know you. I will say, Lord, I built churches for you. And I did this for you. And I did that for you. The Lord will say, I do not know you. Read in Matthew 25, when those five ignorant virgins came too late, the door was shut. They knocked at the door. What did they say to the Lord Jesus? We preached in your name. We did wonders in your name. It was all about them. We did it for you. We preached for you. We brought people to you. The Lord does not recognize people that say, we've done this for you. The Lord will only recognize those who say, I am blind. I want to see you. I am dead. Please raise me from the dead. I am, I am hungry. Please feed me. I am homeless. Please found me. I am lost. Come as a little baby. When you read in the gospel of, according to St. Luke chapter 15, the prodigal son. We may have heard this, we may have read this, but maybe we may have not paid attention to what the father said about his son who just came back to him again. What did the father say? He said, my son was dead. He said he was dead. And now he is living again. The father said, the moment my son walked away from me, that very moment he died. Now the question is, can a dead person think? No. Can a dead person do? No. Can a dead person change things? No. Can a dead person say, I am sorry, forgive me. No. Can a dead person come back to his father? No. A dead person is dead. 
Who protected him in that far off country? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God. Who touched his heart? God. Who made him realize his mistake? God. Who revived his conscience once again? God. Who made him repent? God. Who made him turn around and come back to God? God. God. I didn't come to church. The Lord brought me. And since the Lord brought me, guess what? What does that tell me? He loves me. Would you want to see someone you don't love? Of course not. You would die for the moment for your eyes to fall on the person you adore. Isn't it? You cannot wait to see the person you love the most. Since we are in the church, since we are listening to the word of the Lord, it is the Lord who made this possible. You and all of us better believe in this because this is the truth. It wasn't me who came. The Lord touched my heart and said, come. It wasn't my friend, my brother, my mother, my, my sister, my husband, my wife that told me, let's go to the church and listen to the preaching. It was the Lord working through every single one. It's the Lord. Without the Lord, nothing good happens. Nothing. It's Him. So come to the Lord as a baby. Say, Lord, what does the baby do? When mom or dad, God bless every parent, when mom or dad walk into that baby's room, and then he go, and the baby goes, and then mommy or daddy walk away from that room and walk outside. World War Three erupts. The baby is gone haywire. Starts crying, there is no tomorrow. All hell breaks loose. Why? Because daddy walked away from me and left me behind. Daddy runs back to that crying little angel. The moment daddy grabs that baby, it is heaven. In a blink of an eye, it's heaven. No more cries, no more tears. The smile cannot fit on that beautiful angel's face. Daddy takes the baby. The baby never questions dad, where are we going? How long are we going for? Who are we meeting along the way? Never questions daddy. The same baby grows older, becomes a teenager, 16, 18, 19, past the teenage life, 20, 21, in their 20s. The same baby who became an adult, and it's the same father, and it's the same mother. The parent will come to that very baby who is now an adult. Son, daughter, let's go. Sorry, dad, where are we going? How long are we going to be away? Who are we meeting? Sorry, dad, I don't have the time for you. We start questioning. The father says, how come you didn't question me when you were a baby? I'm the same dad. I'm, says, I'm the same mother. I never changed. You changed, my child. God says, come to me as a baby. I never change. But when you grow older, you change. And then suddenly you don't have the time for me. I don't have the time to go to the church, Father. I'm too busy. Trust me, Father. If I had the time, you would have seen me in the, fir in the front row every Sunday. You don't have the time? You want to get closer to the Lord Jesus, my beloved? Approach Him as a baby. And as a baby, we are hopeless, we are useless, we are reliant 100% on our parents. I don't have a say. I don't have a talk. 
all I care about is I'm with dad. I'm with mom. Who cares even if dad takes me to hell, so be it. Because it matters not the place. It what matters, I am with dad. Can we be Christians in this way? Like babies. When you come to the Lord, be a baby. Total reliance on heavenly father. But when you face the world, be the wisest, the sharpest, the most prudent person you could, they could ever come across. Don't ever be ignorant as a baby when you face the world. But when you face the Lord, say, Lord, with all my PhDs, with all my ranks, and with all the big position that I hold and the big throne that I sit on, I am the Pope, Jesus. I am the Patriarch, Jesus. I am the Archbishop. I am the Bishop. I am the Priest. But when I stand and face the world, I speak where no one can answer me back because it is not you talking, it is your Father who art in heaven that talks through you. Be wise. Be a baby. Be a baby, you'll get the attention of the Lord Jesus. And it's good to thirst and, and long for the Lord Jesus. It's very good. It's a very good sign, by the way, even though it's painful, even though it's, uh, it's difficult. Trust me. I've been there, done it so many times. Trust me. It's, it's a killer. The first time when the Lord Jesus comes, it's heaven. You feel him, you see him, you know him one million percent. And then he disappears. He doesn't. He makes you feel that he's gone, but he's always with you. But he makes you feel that he is no longer there. So you go crazy looking for him everywhere, searching for him everywhere. You go crazy. You know why? Because the Lord does that sometimes deliberately out of love because he doesn't want you to get too comfortable with him because the moment we get comfortable with our loved ones, life becomes routine and routine kills love. You know, when you get too used to your dad at the beginning, dad, dad, I love you, man. I love you. I love you, daddy. You get used to him after what, five years, 10 years, 20 years, every single day in your face. So after 20 years, oh, dad is coming up, better run away. I'm used to him. I want something new. To have the relationship always rekindled, renewed, there has to be sometimes a bit of a separation, a bit of a distance so that you long again and you don't get too used to the Lord Jesus where he becomes your cousin all of a sudden. I get scared sometimes when people say, I asked the Lord and he came and I spoke to the Lord and he came and I called the Lord and he came straight away, every time, all the time. That's a dangerous statement to see, to really, you know, say, I don't think so doesn't work that way.